The Toyota Supra, Japanese, Hepburn, Toyota Supra, is a sports car and grand tour manufactured by the Toyota Motor Corporation beginning in 1978. The name Supra is derived from the Latin prefix, meaning above, to surpass or go beyond. Dot. 3. The initial four generations of the Supra were produced from 1978 to 2002. The fifth generation has been produced since March 2019 and went on sale in May 2019. 4. The styling of the original Supra was derived from the Toyota Celica, but it was both longer and wider. 5. Starting in mid-1986, the A70 Supra became a separate model from the Celica. In turn, Toyota also stopped using the prefix Celica and named the car Supra. 6. Owing to the similarity and past of the Celica's name, it is frequently mistaken for the Supra, and vice versa. The first, second, and third generations of the Supra were assembled at the Tahara plant in Tahara, Aichi, while the fourth generation was assembled at the Motomachi plant in Toyota City. The fifth generation of the Supra is assembled alongside the G29 BMW Z4 in Graz, Austria, by Magna Stair. The Supra traces much of its roots back to the 2000 GT owing to an inline 6 layout. The first three generations were offered with a direct descendant to the Crown's and 2000 GT's M engine. Interior aspects were also similar, as was the chassis code A. Along with this name, Toyota also included its own logo for the Supra. It was derived from the original Celica logo, being blue instead of orange. This logo was used until January 1986, when the A70 Supra was introduced. The new logo was similar in size, with orange writing on a red background, but without the dragon design. That logo, in turn, was on Supras until 1991 when Toyota switched to its current Oval Company logo. The Dragon logo was a Celica logo regardless of what color it was. It appeared on the first two generations of the Supra because they were officially Toyota Celicas. The Dragon logo was used for the Celica line until it was also discontinued, citation needed. In 1998, Toyota ceased sales of the fourth generation of the Supra in the United States. 6. Production of the fourth generation of the Supra for worldwide markets ended in 2002. In January 2019, the fifth generation of the Supra, which was co-developed with the G29Z4, was introduced. 7. The first generation of the Supra was based largely upon the Toyota Celica liftback, but was longer by 129.5 mm, 5.10 in. The doors and rear section were shared with the Celica, but the front panels were elongated to accommodate the inline six instead of the Celica's four-cylinder engine. Toyota's original plan for the Supra at this time was to make it a competitor to the very popular Datsun, now Nissan, Z car. 1978 In April 1978, Toyota began production of the Supra in Japan as the Celica XX and sold it alongside the Celica at Japanese dealership sales channels, called Toyota Corolla Store. The Supra was offered with a 125 PS, 92 kilowatts, 123 horsepower, 2.0 L, 12-valve SOHC inline-six engine, MEU, 
chassis code MA45, or the 82 kilowatts, 110 horsepower, 111 PS, 2.6 liter, 12 valve SOHC inline 6 engine, for ME, chassis code MA46. The Japanese model was equipped with a smaller 2.0L engine so that buyers would not incur an additional tax under vehicle size and engine displacement regulations. Both engines were equipped with electronic fuel injection. 6. 9. The installation of the larger engine did obligate Japanese buyers to pay a higher annual road tax making owning the car more expensive than the smaller Celica. The Supra was first exported outside Japan in January 1979. 10. The federalized model was originally equipped with a 110 horsepower, 82 kilowatts, 112 PS, 2.6 liter, 12 valve SOHC inline 6 engine. Transmission options for the model were either a 5-speed manual, W50, or an optional 4-speed automatic transmission, A40D. Both transmissions featured an overdrive gear. The top gear in the 5-speed was its overdrive gear, whereas the automatic transmission featured an overdrive gear that would engage at speeds over 56 km per hour. 35 miles per hour. The drivetrain for the Super retained the T-Series solid rear axle configuration of the Celica in the Japanese MA45 version and a larger F-Series, and optional limited slip differential, in the MA46 and MA47. The car also came standard with four-wheel disc brakes and featured a four-link rear suspension with coil springs, lateral track bar, and stabilizer bar. The front suspension consisted of McPherson struts and a stabilizer bar. The interior of the Supra had optional power windows and power locks as part of the convenience package. The convenience package also included cruise control and special door trim with door pull straps with an optional sunroof. As for standard features, in the center console, there was an extendable map light and a flip-top armrest, which provided storage. Some other features were the tilt steering wheel, deep zippered pockets on the backs of the front seats and a tonneau cover under the liftback. The dashboard also contained a state-of-the-art AM-FM-MPX 4-speaker stereo radio, analog clock, and tachometer as part of the instrument panel. 1979 The mid-1979 changes for the 1980 model year U.S. model were mostly cosmetic. The interior received a redesigned center, console, and a digital quartz clock. On the exterior were redesigned side-view mirrors, and 14 by 51 halves inch aluminium wheels were standard. The previous year had steel wheels with plastic wheel covers as standard, and the aluminium wheels were optional. In addition, body molded mud flaps became available. On cars finished in copper metallic and white, the mud flaps were painted the body color, while the mud flaps were left black on all other colors. On the rear of the mud flaps, the word Celica was painted in white lettering. 11. The official super site, 6 also notes that there was an addition of optional leather-trimmed seating and automatic climate control.